You're listening to Fan Fiction Multiverse for December 2017. This is a reboot of the podcast where I keep you up to date on what stories I'm currently working on on fanfiction.net and other platforms. And also I keep you up to date on anything new that I may have planned for the coming months. This is a reboot of the podcast that I was doing uh, to basically keep you up to date on any stories that I'm currently working on. The two main stories that I am keeping up to date periodically at this time is Beneath the Crimson Sky and Nindo of the Force. All others are basically on hold or they're currently canceled. A lot of other stories I'm not even going to be updating anymore. The stories that are currently finished, The Warrior and the Peacemaker, that is done. The New Direction Taken, that's currently done, and I may go back to that at some point, perhaps continue that. Uh, Most everything else is done or canceled. Now, the reason why I am uh, discontinuing a lot of stories, I've basically stated the reason before. Back when I wrote them, I was suffering from depression, and I wrote a lot of those stories in order to cope from it. It it was basically a method of escape for me. And I'm in a different place right now, you know, mentally, emotionally. And so when I went back to try and continue those stories, I felt this is coming from a different place for me. And I would have to completely rewrite these stories in order to continue them. So, a lot of stories that I've got aren't going to continue. Now, what are the stories that I do have now that will be getting new chapters? Well, as I said, the two main ones that I've been alternating between are between a, Beneath a Crimson Sky and Nindo of the Force. Now, there are some other stories that I will be updating. WTF is a story that will that will start getting updates. Now, that is a spin-off for another story that I will be starting after a few others that I've got start got planned have been done, released, not until those are finished. What I intend to do and I don't always have a lot of time to write because I'm currently working on not only my channel, getting my channel uh, growing, Zort Central, but I also do videos every week for Gamers Bay. So I am, I don't always have a lot of time to write. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release at least one new chapter or maybe two every month and I've got a lot of story ideas and a lot of stories that I want to work on and I may start writing a lot more Uh, don't be disappointed if you don't see two chapters a month but I'm going to work on releasing at least one chapter a month there will be a new Nindo the Force out this month soon I've started working on the next chapter, so I will have that out before Christmas. Uh, last month, I did get out, uh, I believe it was last month, I got out the first chapter of The Promise, that is a spinoff of Beneath the Crimson Sky. That's intended to be a short series, a short story. Uh, it would be maybe 10 chapters long. It is it concerns the story of Baron and Arya, who are two new characters that were recently introduced in Beneath the Crimson Sky. It tells the story of who they are, where they come from, you know, their whole backstory. So if you want to learn about more who they are, where they come from, what their motivations are, then you will want to read The Promise. And that's one of the stories that I will be continuing to update 
over the next several months. Another story that I have currently planned that is a spin-off similar to The Promise is Outer Rim Redemption. Outer Rim Redemption is a spin-off of Nindo of the Force. It is a prequel also, like The Promise. The Promise is set five years before the beginning of Beneath the Crimson Sky. This one, Outer Rim Redemption, this takes place more than a thousand years before. This takes place at the dawn of the dawn of the of the Republic, the one that fell at the end of the Phantom Menace, or sorry, at the end of um, Revenge of the Sith. It's set before that. It's set just as the Sith Empire falls and the New Republic forms around that time and it is a Ranma centric fan fiction it's going to be really good it's going to be dark it's not going to be your typical Ranma becomes a Jedi sort of story this one's different I've uh, shared some of the ideas for this on the Jim Bader uh, mailing list that's still running on uh, Yahoo and they liked the idea this is a much darker take on a Ron Mahap Star Wars crossover. Very dark. Uh, basically, what if... And this is going to be a small spoiler. What if Ranma, instead of being a Jedi, what if Ranma was a Sith? And what would happen after... He stopped being a Sith. This is the story of an older Ranma. This is not him in his teens. The story starts with him in his teens. But there is a time skip. And then he's somewhere in his late 20s, early 30s. So this is an adult Ranma dealing with this traumatic event in his life. And I think you're going to really like what I've got planned for this. It's not going to be some massive, epic battle story. This is going to be a personal story for him. For the things that he went through because of this experience. And I think you're really going to like it. Now, when I said I'm going to continue the story WTF... That story is a sort of spin-off of another that I am going to bring back, and that is Something Hentai This Way Comes. Now, the story is currently up on fanfiction.net, but it's in a different form. That version of the story is going to go away. I had some plans for that one. I had things planned out for that particular story idea but a lot of them started falling flat and then I had this new idea now this new idea I was going to what basically what I was going to do is I was going to discontinue the whole story and start a new one called the succubus diaries but I liked the name something hentai this way comes so much better but I didn't want to write two stories of the same premise at the same time, so I decided to basically restart that series with that name. So Something Hentai This Way Comes will get a rewrite. It's going to be a completely new, completely different story. Uh, it's still going to be uh, raunchy, it's still going to be pushing the limits of what fanfiction.net allows. Very much like the, um, there's a story out there about Ranma who fell into the spring of drowned, oversexed nymphomaniac. It's going to be something like that. A little more thoughtful. I think you're going to like it. There will be uh, some major crossovers in that story. Uh, something uh, unexpected, something you don't often see. 
in a Ranma half fan fiction. Uh, the crossovers that you typically see in those stories are Sailor Moon, typically. But you're going to see something completely different. Something that is not often seen in a crossover in a Ranma half story. So that's what I've got planned, and you're not going to see all of these things all immediately. You're going to see them over the next coming months. So for this month, there will be an update to Nindo of the Force, that next update. Then in January, I will be updating Beneath the Crimson Sky and The Promise. Those stories go hand in hand. Promise is again the store, the backstory for Baron and Arya, and I'm continuing the story of Ranma and what's happening with him. I've built up to a huge story arc that's coming up, and then after this, that book will end. The third book of the series will begin, and that will conclude that story. The universe of Beneath the Crimson Sky will continue for one thing something hentai this way comes is built in an alternate reality version of that universe also other stories from other perspectives of other characters will continue in that particular universe these will not be directly Ranma half stories they may be Negama stories, they may be Girls Bravo stories, but they will be set in that particular universe. I may do a lot of, may do, go in a lot of different directions with these. So, I right now they're only in the earliest planning stages that I've been hammering out. I don't have anything concrete, not like, you know, Nothing that's anything nearly as hammered out as Outer Rim Redemption. That one I'm close to beginning writing, but I'm not going to start until I get some other stuff done first. Because I don't want to overwhelm myself with so many other projects on top of what I'm doing for Resort Central and Gamers Bay. Before, the problem is I overwhelmed myself with too many stories and I burned out for a while and I stopped writing and so I want to prevent that from happening so I'm trying to keep how many writing projects I'm doing to a minimum from time to time I do work on the stories I don't write all of them in one night anymore like I used to I do work on them over time the Nindo of the Force, it's already been started, that chapter, and it will be finished very soon. So, to recap, Nindo of the Force will be getting an update definitely this month. Next month, I will be updating Beneath the Crimson Sky and The Promise. And sometime during 2018, I will launch Outer Rim Redemption. I will finish the promise and I may launch something hentai this way comes sometime in 2018 I want to thank you for listening I have been Mike the Zorch and see you next time are you sick of all the drama in gaming social media then come on over to the official gamers bay community in Google Plus we're a fun safe and drama free community Links are found in the video description. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Also, here's a couple other videos you might find interesting.